everyone. Welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Well, I'm here by myself today at the farm. Doug went to an auction. A couple things he saw there, so he thought he'd go check it out and see if they go for a good price. So hopefully they do. So while he's gone, I'm going to do a brag about Doug video and take you into the high tunnel and show you all the work that he's been doing. Pretty exciting stuff in here. As you can see, there's tools everywhere, so come on inside. Well, here's his dosatron setup. Like I said earlier, we're going to the three dosatrons, one for A nutrients, micro, one for macronutrients, and one for pH adjust, so he has those there. Has his mixing pot, he has the filter, he has his pressure gauge, and then he has four outlets here so I can do different times for our nutrients to the different type of plants I have. Right now, I think we're only gonna use two or three of them. One for the strawberries, one for the tomatoes, and maybe one for some onion bags I'm going to put in here. But he put an extra one in there because you never know in the years in the future what you might want to do. So it's always good to be prepared. And so he's got all the different shutoff valves here. He's got all kinds of um, places I can get just plain water. I can get nutrient water. So it's kind of exciting. Not kind of, very exciting. So it did something different this year. He dropped the water lines from the top. So they're not going to be on the ground and I won't have to step over them or get tangled up. I can sweep better and keep it a little bit cleaner in here. And then so he has it coming from the top and then of course he has a valve on it. And then we got the drip tape going down for the strawberries. They're getting really big. So here's the other rows of strawberries. If you can see he's got drip tape there coming down. He's got one over there for that row and another one for that row there. And you probably notice I still have my dado bobbins hanging here with the strings. I notice it's keeping the birds out of the green or the high tunnel here. Because last year they would come in through the, even the netting I had up, they would come in here and drive me crazy. So with these um, dado bobbin strings blown in the wind, it really keeps them out. So it's kind of cool. So, so far the uh, strawberries in the black buckets are doing just as well as the ones in the white buckets over on the other side there. Here I had some extra strawberry plants, so I put them in some hanging baskets. Probably gonna sell those at the farm market and give some to a couple of my good customers and friends. So I don't know if you guys have noticed in past videos that Doug has these water reels that he bought last year. He got them at an auction and he wants to get these fixed up so we can water the hay fields. Because right now when I change my uh, nutrient tank for the greenhouse, the water goes onto the one hay field, but he wants to be able to pour, transport it up to our other hay fields because we have a couple on top next to the Girl Scout camp. And so one of the things he's looking at at the auction to get is a water pump because what he can do is um, get water from the creek and then he can then inject the nutrient water in through this water wheel system here and water the whole hay field and give it nutrients and fertilizer so nothing goes to waste here at the farm. And like always, Doug thinks of everything here at the end of the line here for the drip tape. He put on a valve, so if I want to clear it out, if it gets clogged up at all, he can, I can go ahead and flush it out. So the next thing we got to work on is getting admitters to my uh, paste tomatoes here I have growing in the high tunnel. These are just for us because Doug makes the best spaghetti sauce. He's got it down to a, a very good science. And so he puts up quite a few jars for us because we do eat quite a bit of it in the winter time. So I didn't plant as many this year as I did last year. I had way too many, too much waste, and there was too many things here in the high tunnel. Wasn't getting good airflow, and I was having a large pest population in here, and you know I don't like to spray anything. So I think less things in here will keep the airflow going and keep the little buggers out of here. I forgot to tell you guys something. As I was walking back up here, I noticed on all the fittings, Doug has quick release um, fittings, I think that's what they're called, these coupler things here. So in the winter time, he can go ahead and take everything apart, put it into storage, and then flush out all the lines because we don't use the high tunnel in the winter time since it's not heated, and keep everything on this board, and then the next spring be able to put it all back together again. He tries to think of everything, and there's a bee buzzing around. 
So there's one of my nutrient tanks from last year, the barrels that the, uh, hold the nutrients for the injection system. So I do need to get another one. I know we have a couple blue ones, food grade ones up in the front barn, so we're going to get that out today so we can get this whole thing set up. Okay, now that I've shown you everything that Doug's been working on, let me show you my two jobs for today. Besides other things I normally do, these are my two above and beyond jobs I like to get done. You know how every day you can get caught in a rut and just do the same thing over and over again and you don't get ahead of anything? So my two jobs are back here at the uh, wet wall is to get them all installed. I brought them all in yesterday because we bought new pads last year. We cleaned everything up and so the days are getting hotter so I better get it going. So I have all of these pads that I have to put into the wet wall back there. So that's going to be too hard to do. It's um, already, like I said, cleaned up. I got the drill with the fitting on it so I can get all the screws back in and get this thing in there. So I'll show you some pictures of me doing that. And my other job, I'll show you what that is in one second. So here's my other job I'm looking forward to. Got all my hanging baskets out of the greenhouse. I'm going to put them up around the deck. Make everything look summery again. So how was the auction? So the auction uh, wasn't too good for me, but a lot of people bought a lot of equipment and I'm always amazed at some of these auctions. You get really good prices on some things and like today's auction, people were spending or they're buying used equipment for as much as it costs new. So I don't get it sometimes, but that's the way it goes. I feel like I wasted my morning. I should have been here finishing up the rest of the stuff that I needed to do. but. I went, I saw, and so now I know what I would need to do in the future. So do you want to talk about what is needed to be done here in the tie tunnel that I didn't go over? Yep, so what's left to be done is I have to put the Blue Lab monitoring system up and then I've got to get another rain barrel or a, a food grade barrel here so that I can do A, B, and pH and get the dosatrons hooked up and also the timer. So those valves are run on a timer and I'll get that set up too and I'll show you what that looks like next video. Okay, wanna call it a wrap for the day? I think so. Okay guys, well leave me any questions, comments, or suggestions down below and we'll see you guys next video.